Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the uh, previous sessions, we are uh, dealing with the data structures and uh, uh, these days I am getting uh, more requests on the command line arguments. So, so most of the viewers are sending the request regarding this command line arguments in C. So in today's session, uh, we'll go with the command line arguments and then uh, from the next session, we will continue the data structures, right? So command line arguments in C. Right. So the name itself indicates command line arguments. So where we have seen these arguments. So whenever we have studied the functions concept, in the functions concept we have covered these arguments. So whatever the inputs given to the function that those inputs we call them as arguments. So here we are giving the arguments in a command line. Right. So that means without using the input function without using the input function so what's the input function here so scanf right so without using this scanf we can pass the inputs through command line right so we can pass the inputs through command line Right. So we need not use this scanf function still we can execute the programs. So for this, so whatever the arguments we are passing in command line, all those arguments should be passed in main function. This argument should be written in main function. Right. So so this may, these arguments are a two arguments we have to write in the main function two arguments so one is for argument count so it will count the number of arguments we are passing okay and the second one is it is argument value and it is an array which is of character data type and it is an integer data type all right it's a character data type so whatever the arguments we are passing those arguments count will be here and the actual value will be in this array okay and this array is a character so whatever the arguments we are passing through the command line those will be in a character data type so if you want to perform the integer, first we have to type convert this value. Right. right. See, now the syntax for this one is, so these arguments should be passed in main function. So we have to write main int arc c character arc v. Uh, sorry, I will write here the main int arg c. So, two arguments one is the argument count, second argument is argument value star arg v. It's a value. So, why we are giving the star means here we are not, uh, we don't know how many um, arguments we are passing, so we we'll just give pass the address, right. So uh, int arg c character arg v. So then we can write the program here. Okay. See, I will write the program. So let us write the uh, program. So main int arg count character star arg value. right simply we can print those values okay see print f percentage d rc 
and simply we can print this arc v also see here so whatever the arguments we are passing in the command line the first one that means zeroth index zeroth index will be the file name the zeroth index will be the file name and the first index will be the first value second index will be the second value and so on so always the argument value of zero is a file name so remember this one right so argument v of zero is the file name so whatever file name means whatever the file we are implementing for this command line that file name will be here it will be printed here so i will show you while executing this program so that if you are having any doubts uh, your doubts will be clarified right so we'll execute a program next a printf percentage yes r v of 0 so after writing the program see if you store this program if you save this program as cmd.c cmd.c so here the question is how to execute these type of programs so we should not here we are not giving any scan up so here uh, the uh, the compiler will not prompt for the input so after saving the file the first step is compile compile the program and you need not run the program here because here uh, we are not giving any input right so we need not run the program here so go to the file menu file menu in the file, file menu you can uh, observe the os shell os shell so if you click on this os shell the command prompt will be opened command prompt will be opened okay in the command prompt type the command command is file name space argument 1 space argument 2 space and so on so we have to give like this file name argument one argument two like this so this is the syntax for executing the program so this should be happened in command prompt this should be happened in command prompt right so if you execute this one if you execute this one in the command prompt in this command prompt just to type cmd one space two space three so automatically we will get the output as so first argument count so argument count means how many arguments are there one two three and including the file name so it also includes the file name right so total four arguments so four and arc v of zero arc v of zero means this one so the complete path will be displayed here the complete path will be displayed here okay in such a way we can execute any command line arguments so we can implement the addition of two numbers we can implement the factorial program we can implement the fibonacci program any program we can implement but without using the scanf and we have to pass the arguments in main function so whatever the commands you are uh, using here in the command prompt those values will be directly copied into this argument so first one argument count how many, uh, the number of arguments is uh, calculated and that will be assigned to arc c and uh, this one by one it is uh, assigned to arc v okay so let us execute the program in the compiler so that your doubts will be clarified so i will execute uh, uh, two programs so we'll see this program and we can we all will also execute the another program right so see once, once again the second argument that means all the argument values are in of character data type right so if you want to use an integer you have to type convert this uh, data type 
okay so first the character should be uh, typecasted to integer and then we have to perform it right so hope you understood this one so let us uh, move on to the implementation part hello friends so now we will see the implementation part of this complete uh, uh, command line arguments so let us execute the program So first let us type the program same program which we have seen just now. So here the main function will take the two arguments. So int arg c that means argument count and a character star or value. So these value these names need not be the same. So you can take a a and b also. Right. But the first argument is for argument count and the second argument is for argument value. That's it. So here we can write argument count is equal to percentage D arg C. It just prints the uh, how many arguments we are passing through the command line arguments. Right. Next argument value is equal to percentage yes so as i have said that the first index is nothing but uh, the file name okay arg of zero so just i will save this file cmd file dot c yes all right now just compile the program right and then execute the program now See, once again, I'm saying after writing the program, save that file and then compile and then execute. Okay, I just skipped that one. Okay, execute the program, then go to the OS shell. Then go to the OS shell, write the command cmd5 space followed by arguments. So you can observe here argument count is equal to 5 because see four values and the file name total five arguments are there so argument count is equal to five and argument value of zero so it is a first thing right the file name it, it will print the file name so it, it will print the complete path of that file name so g turbo c2 command 5 dot exe so if you want to go back to the compiler just type the exit you will go back to the compiler now let us see this one so argument count you can write the for loop here int uh, sorry um, i is equal to 1 i less than arg c i plus plus printf argument percentage d is sorry percentage yes i value and argument v of i so i'll explain everything right so i'm just uh, printing all the arguments okay i'm printing all the arguments so printf file name e percentage yes comma r v of zero see here you can observe here right so save the file with the same file name so i'm just uh, printing all the arguments which are taken from the command line on the print on the screen right so here i am taking considering the value the loop variable i, I value with one because the zero is the file name okay just declare this one so the first step is compile second step is execute third step is go to ohl here you can write the cmd5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
10. So you can observe argument count is equal to 10 numbers and the file name total 11. File name is cmd5.exe and uh, from the argument 1 you can observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, all these are the characters. All these are the characters. Right. See. Again, we'll go with the another one. So if you want to add all these things, add the numbers. So simply we have to do sum plus is equal to okay. I. Sum plus is equal to I means here I is a oh, sorry, sorry arg v of i so it doesn't work because arg v of i is in a character data type so we have to convert into integer there is a direct function called a to i which converts the character into an integer right this convert the character into integer and uh, it will calculate all the values of argument see i will, I will show you. so compile first one sorry sorry not declared this one okay so compile this one zero errors run this one then third step go to the OSL here we can type cmd5 space 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that means it will calculate the sum of six numbers so the result must be 11 plus 4 15 15 plus 3 18 20 and 21 okay Sorry, we have not printed this one. Okay, we just calculated the sum, but we, we didn't write any printf, so it doesn't print here. Sum is equal to percentage d. Right now, we can see compile. Declaration syntax error. What happened to this? Okay, right. So in a confusion, I am writing in. Right. So first step compile, second step run, and then go to the OS shell, and then here we have to print cmd5 one two three four five. So the output will be 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15. See, you can observe here the first one argument count that is 6, second one file name so and so, and the third one is sum is equal to 15. Okay, so hope you understood this one. So, like this, we have to pass an argument through the command line, and uh, from the command line, uh, all the arguments will be taken in a character format. So, according to our logic, we need to type convert that character data type to our required data type and then we can apply the calculations, right. So, hope you understood this one, uh, the very simple thing. So, rather than using the scan of we can pass the arguments in a command line that will be passed to the arguments for main function. One is the argument count, another one is the argument value. Right. So always the argument value, the first uh, the first index, that means the zeroth index of argument value will be the file name. That's a, these are the points to be remembered while implementing this command line arguments and the the procedure. So after writing the program, uh, save the file with the .c file, then uh, compile the program, then compile the program, then run the program, and then go to the OSL and type the command, the file name, space. The argument 1 space argument 2 space argument 3 and so on right so let us stop here if you really understood my sessions uh, like my sessions share my sessions and if you are having any doubts regarding this command and arguments feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching